area. That's right, Lisa, and this map right behind me shows our building here at News 6, which actually is in a flood zone. Chad Berganis is the executive director of the National Association of State Flood Plan Managers, and I had him show us step-by-step -step how to check if you are in a flood zone. The easiest way to do that is in Google, if you will just simply type FEMA and FHL. Okay, I've got that pulled up, and I see the first link here. I'm going to click on that, Flood Data Viewers and Geospatial Data. So I clicked on that, okay, and then next. And then next, you'll scroll down um, and click the button that says NFHL Viewer. I see it right here. I'm clicking on it. Perfect. Here we go. There's a map of the U.S. I see up in the top left corner, the address search bar. So I'm going to put in the TV station address and see what pops up. And when you pull it up, I see a lot of blue on here, Chad. What does that mean? Well, the blue means that there are some flood hazards nearby. When you pull up the map, you see a lot of different colors. Can you give me an example of what those colors mean? Certainly. Uh, the bluish green area is the highest hazard part of the flood zone, the AE. The reddish um, uh, tinted area that you see that is beyond that zone is what we would call a moderate flood hazard area. And then you also have within that high hazard area, an area that's especially risky called the floodway. And that is striped with the blue and red. You can also check with your local county to see if they have their own maps. Seminole County has several projects updating their information. You can give them a call to find out about flood zones there. And FEMA recommends that property owners all of them get insurance whether you're in a flood zone or not. Back to you. It's important information. It to really know. is. When we yeah. saw Laverne's story earlier in the newsroom, we all pulled.